tells you they actually know what occurred, yep. was either in on the game or is uh, you know, maybe jumping to conclusions. Okay. I think what we have to acknowledge is there's a hell of a lot we don't know. Mm. A hell of a lot we don't know. I mean, let's not forget Hugo Chavez yep. uh, stated, uh, I believe, at the UN mm -hmm. that he uh, had the very strong suspicion mm -hmm. that the US government, using HARP technology, was responsible for um, uh, the uh, Haiti earthquake. Right. Now, you know, there has been some conjecture that HARP has been brought to bear here, creating the, uh, the earthquake, which of course created the tsunami, which of course has, has led to the, um, uh, the meltdown of the reactors. Now, one thing that is absolutely fascinating is there is a set of, there's a game called yeah. the Illuminati card game. Ah, this, this, yes, Steve this, this Jackson. Game. Steve thing. Jackson, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Steve Jackson from Austin, Texas. Yeah, Steve Jackson's offices were raided by the CIA sometime, uh, certainly before uh, the mid-90s. But in the mid-90s, he produced a card game called the Illuminati Cards. Yep. And in the, this series of 130 cards, mm -hmm. some of these cards have been extremely prescient. Right. Not least the Princess Di card, the uh, Twin Towers card, the Pentagon card. And this is from the 90s? This is from the 90s. Right. There's a, an Irish flu card. Okay, got the, uh, the nationality wrong, but mm -hmm. an Irish flu. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are, there's an earthquake card, mm -hmm. a tsunami card, a nuclear reactor meltdown card, and then a card that says combined disasters. And right. depicted on that card mm -hmm. is a clock tower. Right. Now, that clock tower is unmistakably... Mm -hmm. the Waco clock tower in Tokyo Good Lord. and the clock is set at 11 11 which is this magic number well 11 11 is of course the exact moment GMT mm -hmm. of the um, the winter um, solstice on December 21st 2012 it occurs at precisely 11 11 in the morning GMT mm -hmm. Now, with the clock being set at 11, 11, of course, just think about that. One hand is on the 11, and the other hand is between the 2 and the 3. Okay. So, once again, we've got, coincidentally, mm -hmm. an 11 and a 3 represented, which, of course, is the day of the event here. Now, you know, something else is, is really very strange here as well. You know, one of the things that we subsequently learned after the events of 9, 11 was that one of the major issues with the Twin Towers was concern about the amount of asbestos that had been used yeah. in their construction mm -hmm. and the cost of demolition of the Twin Towers mm -hmm. because of the asbestos was going to be absolutely astronomical. Yeah. So, stroke of good fortune for Larry Silverstein, mm -hmm. who um, uh, acquired the lease of the, the Twin Towers, and of course insured them, wow. I think it was for 3.5 billion each in the event yeah. of uh, attack by terrorists. So for the first time in the history of the World Trade Center, Larry Silverstein acquires the lease six weeks before the uh, events of 9-11 and insures them against terrorist attack. And of course he uh, not only claimed one 3.5 billion, he, he actually claimed uh, two. Yeah. I think he eventually got 2.2 billion, but um, mm -hmm. Anyway, um, Silverstein was obviously relieved yeah. of a problem because yeah. he no longer had to worry about the demolition costs and the asbestos, and the asbestos yeah. etc. Well, uh, something that's remarkably similar here, um, I don't think Larry Silverstein actually acquired the lease of the Fukushima uh, power station, right. but the Fukushima power station was due to be decommissioned on the 26th of March. Goodness now, uh, what, is, what is unfolding here is obviously some increasing awareness that there were some pretty serious flaws mm -hmm. in the design of these power stations on the east coast of Japan. Now, these power stations were built by GE of General Electric, General Electric of America, which is a Rockefeller company, ostensibly. Mm -hmm. And it uh, has come to light that um, you know, there were a number of consultants who expressed deep concern about the, not only the construction um, and the location of, uh, of these um, uh, power stations, but also the safety measures that were being introduced in the event of just such an event here.
-hmm. So once again, how convenient yeah. that the, particularly the Fukushima um, nuclear plant should effectively be wiped out through the earthquake and tsunami just 15 days before it was due to be decommissioned. Now, 